Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Atrox. I'm back with the Mortal Kombat video. So today is the day of the official launch trailer. We have six days left to go for um before Chaos Reigns is upon us. And uh they're dropping the trailer super early actually. I think I thought it was gonna be like a few days beforehand, maybe like three or four days. But um six days is interesting. I didn't think it was gonna be like almost a full week. So that must mean that um we'll probably get like the com the combat cast at the end of the week. Um probably like Thursday, Friday, maybe Monday. Like one of those days around there um i don't know what i mean it's possible to do it monday but but that's the day before so i feel like they would do it probably like friday or thursday either one like one of those two days or it's probably the more likely one but anyways i'm not gonna waste too much time here um i wonder what they're gonna show us in this trailer obviously i think this is more of a combat trailer than actual anything story-wise now that i slept on it but we'll see we'll see which direction they choose to go in this one um if you guys haven't already leave a like comment subscribe to the channel if you're new here and let's see what they got they got cooking for us in this uh launch trailer. What's this? I'm bugging man. Havoc. The cleric of chaos is a keeper of time. This day will not end well. Now the end begins. Earthrealm's might is at your disposal. What I ask is that together we. Was that Chaos Ross? Now the end begins. Earthrealm's might is at your disposal. And was that our rain fighting the with us? End begins. Yeah, this is. Wait, this is not our reign. This is Emperor. This is the um Emperor reign. I think this is uh, the reign from her, uh, from her um timeline. Earth realm's might is at your disposal. What I ask is that. Yeah, that was that was Frost for sure. Together, we try to break the cycle of violence. <laughs> yeah. Let real warriors handle this. Okay, from the first trailer. Again. My speed and skill are beyond you. Greetings, brother. The future is chaos. All must embrace it. When this crisis ends, we settle our differences. Brutality. Okay, that was type fire. I ain't gonna lie. I like that. That was type fire. That was type fire. Phoenix. Oh. That was crazy, bro. Oh, hold on. My alarm went off. <laughs> Okay. Malia. Come on, show him I'm sorry, what the hell was that? What was that? I just dismissed you. Stop it. What is this? Is this Warrior Shrine? Or is this a new game mode separately? This is definitely something new here. Obviously, this doesn't look anything like the towers that we have right now. That's okay. So this must be, I assume it's Warrior Shrine. But we'll see. Finish him. Poor looking. Ooh. Adam Allison. Oh. <laughs> 
A sand gun, guys. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so let's watch it one more time. Because uh, there was obviously some parts in it that kind of went past. Like, they, they reused some of the old clips from the first trailer. Obviously, they don't want to give away too much. But it's pretty sick. That we got our first look at, at um, Melina inside the actual throne room uh, when Havoc was arriving. And then Havoc throwing his head, entering the, the chamber where where they all are. And then, like, Garrus and Lucane immediately recognizing um, the Havoc from Lucane's timeline. It was actually pretty fire. What's this? Havoc. The Cleric of Chaos is a Keeper of Time. This day will not end well. Now the end begins. Earthrealm's might is at your de- Hold on. This day will not end well. Now the end begins. Earthrealm's might is at your disposal. What I ask is that... I would love to go, go through these frame by frame, but I'll probably do it in, in, in post. Earthrealm's might is at your disposal. What I ask is that together, we try to break the cycle of violence. <laughs> See, okay, so maybe I was right when it comes to that story where I was talking about how, like, they're meeting to try and break the cycle, the cycle of violence between, you know, obviously because Lin Kuei betrayed Earthrealm, and same thing with, uh, like, they're all trying to get together with Outworld and them, so maybe I wasn't wrong about that. Kind of seems like that's the direction they, already, they wanted to go with it. Let real warriors handle this. My speed and skill are beyond you. Greetings, brother. The future is chaos. All must embrace it. When this crisis ends, we settle our differences. So that obviously, I think that's taken out of context. I think that scene happened already um, before that scene because they're, they're going to settle the differences at the end. But you know how these type of uh, story stories go, like um, maybe they, they, they reconcile and everything like that after helping get Noob Saibot back to being Sub-Zero, if that's possible. Brutality. Yes, Sector. This is definitely the zero. The ice on the on the tendrils just makes it so obvious. A phoenix. A phoenix. I don't know who that could be because, like, honestly, like, uh, I I don't think Scorpion would turn into a phoenix. I think he would turn to a scorpion, though. <laughs> well, we'll see because they made smoke into a gorilla, so I'm not gonna take it out out of a possibility. So maybe it is. They said new guest combatants, but show the season one combatants or the um, combat pack one combatants. That's interesting. There we go. These are the new ones. Him. And that this this clip earlier, I don't know if we'll be able to go back. But anyway, it's like where Cyrax is in the air jumping. That's probably from her second fatality, if I had to guess.
Far behind. No. <laughs> what is that noise? Oh, <laughs> oh that noise is funny. Obviously, they added a few things. Um, we got our first look at what possibly could be Warrior Shrine, or maybe it's something else. Who knows? Um, but it definitely had a different aesthetic look, almost like the Tower of the Time from MK11. So I don't know. Maybe they took some inspiration from that, and maybe that's what they're doing with that. And hopefully, they have some good rewards coming from that tower, where like you get some good skins or something, or you know, who knows what that is. Like, it could be anything at this point. Um, but it looks interesting, though, for sure. Um, definitely. They really didn't have that much new stuff outside of um, Blue Kane and Garrus recognizing um, Chaos Realm Havoc uh, or Chaos Timeline Havoc uh, from, you know, the original. And then um, what else? What else was pretty, pretty new? They have Frost show up, Emperor Rang there with um, Empress Kanya. Uh, who else? I think, I think it's interesting, too, because like, um, obviously, you guys remember MK, I think it was, was it MK at... No, it wasn't. Okay, so maybe they took that thing from MK Ads. Instead of putting Melina, they had Tanya take over. And then, like, cause, like Rain, I know Rain and, and um, Melina had a thing for a little bit. Um, no, 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 that's not true, right? It wasn't, didn't Tanya have some kind of something to do with um, Rain? I could have sworn they had, like, an ending or something like that, that where Rain and her, where Rain and her had, had some kind of thing, but she betrayed him and then, like, um, what you call it? He ended up getting arrested or killed. I, I forget. Like it's been a while since I played MK11 um, with Tanya or Rain. So I think that 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 did happen though in one of the one of the endings. But um, yeah, so maybe that's like a callback to that. But in this timeline, they're actually you know care about each other. So I find that interesting. Um, uh, as far as Ghostface and Fatality, I think it's interesting. I think it like you know, obviously if you ever seen like uh, Scream, uh, you always know that uh there, there's always more than one um, ghost face so i like that and the what the having two ghost face being the fatality i think that's fire that's a nice little attention to detail and uh you see like a bunch of like uh now that like we've seen these animalities like you, you get like big hints of like who the characters are depending on like um the body and stuff like obviously the mammoths with uh, the the ice horns, and then you have um go uh, the, this gorilla for smoke. The only reason people know is because of the scar on his uh his head over here. Um, as far as the other ones go, it's kind of hard to see right now because I'm thinking this like uh hyena looking thing is probably Baraka, just because of the way his fangs and stuff look. But anyways, uh, what do you guys think about the trailer? I think it's interesting. I, I don't think there's a lot to decipher here um, outside of like little bits and pieces. I'm, I'm going to check out. But for now, like I think we're going to call it there. But um, you know, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, I'm sure to sometime today they'll announce like when the combat cast is going to be because like we have less than six days. Away, we're less than six days away from the actual gameplay. So within either today, tomorrow, and either yeah, I feel like either today or tomorrow the announcement is going to come because like they want people to get ready for. Uh, the combat has to be able to, to spend the time to do it but anyways guys that's gonna do it uh today hope you guys enjoyed this and i'm out of here have a good one peace